It's Gordon with This Is How I Did It. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching, we just thank you for watching. In this video today, we're going to jump back into the water wheel that we're building. Um, got the old man softball for the weekend out of the way. Uh, last weekend, we went to play it in a golf tournament over at Crooked River Ranch in Oregon. God, that was awesome. Great place. Um, but now we're going to jump back into building, completing the... Uh, the build of our water wheel. Actually, we're going to jump in. Um, we have part one already already done. Part two in this video, we are completing side the sides. Or I guess we'll call it the side two of the wheel. And we're going to add. Actually, we're going to add off of um, a couple. I put a little short video a video out asking if I should add more fins or buckets and. I got some replies that said yes. So we're going to add eight more buckets to our eight that are existing. So we'll have a total of 16 buckets. Real easy to do. Um, as an afterthought, I'm thinking, I, I, what I did is I ripped a 2 by 8 long ways, and then I cut it to 11 and a half inches, which matches the 2 by 12s that are it's built out of. right? So I laid it vertically instead of horizontal like a 2 by 8s. I laid it vertically. In hindsight, I probably should use a 2 by 10 um, but it's done. It's going to catch water. Um, and I bought this stupid, or actually I didn't buy it. It was in my spare stuff that I have back here, spare lumber. I grab a 2 by 8 I measure it at 7 inches. It's not even 7 and a half inches. It is 7 inches. A pressure treated 2 by 8 Go figure. That would pissed me off if I was building a deck or something where uh, I had to match existing wood to seven inches. So not seven and a half. Anyway, I digress. So anyway guys, in this video we're going to build um, the second side, put the plywood on it, um, install the five and a half foot reel onto the seven and a half foot reel for our pulley whatever you want to call the thing that the, the belt rides on um, on the wheel. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to do everything except um, I'm waiting on some actually I'm not waiting on. I'm waiting to install the 8x8 eight eight little piece of ply of um, not plywood, um, steel that we're going to weld onto the outer the outer parts of the, of the metal part of the reel. Um, that's what the spindle will go through after we drill it. I just don't know if I want to weld it or if I want to drill it. Um, and bolt it. So if I if I weld it, which would be really easy, except I have to somehow get that wheel up to my cousin's house to the welder. My cousin lives right next to me. It's awesome. Love having my neighbor right next. My cousin right next to me as a neighbor. Love it. Anyway, in his shop, he's got all the stuff, but I'd have to get the damn wheel there, and it's heavy, seven and a half feet tall, foot wide. <clears throat> Doesn't look it, but it's heavy. Um, we actually installed. In the video, you'll see we put the the second piece on top of the first piece and put it all together. But we actually used a tractor to to you know lower it down on there. Because anyway, you'll see. Um, so anyway, guys, give us a thumbs up. Um, put the subscribe button for the channel. We greatly appreciate some subscriptions. Um, down in the side, down over here, you can just click on that little icon. Or at the end of the video, there's a subscribe button. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy. Alrighty, reel number two, painted, stained, and assembled. We now need to put the five footer on right on top of this, drill it, and bolt it onto this seven and a half footer. And that five and a half foot reel that we're gonna put on here is going to be our our pulley rider guide, whatever. Actually, we need to cut the the, the plywood that goes on the five footer. We need to cut that and get it mounted all at once and then mount it to this. So we need to paint, we need to cut the plywood for the five and a half footer and then stain it. And then we can mount it on top of here. And over here, we have the other half of the wheel. Like I said, this is seven and a half foot. And I made these out of cable reels. Took the middle struts out of them. Those are two by 12s. Cut it 43 inches with a 45 on the end. And then from this point right here, 
to this straight across at a 90 off of this board. Straight out is, I think, nine and a half inches, I think, if I remember right. Um, that caulking is actually rubberized caulking. And the tube broke, so that's why some of it looks kind of rough. But um, it's flexible, and it should work pretty good. Okay, so there's our the base of the basic idea of our of our water wheel. We'll have to be adding that top piece for the pulley part, the five and a half foot part. I'm gonna build it right now. Howdy, guys! Welcome to the channel. Um, today in this video, we need to take and line that five and a half foot reel up perfectly with the seven and a half wheel. For the middle spindle we need to bolt those together because that five and a half foot reel is going to become our pulley um you know that the pulley rides on is going to ride on that on our water wheel so that's what we're going to do today we're just going to lay that out drill through those main little fins those black fins there and mount that but for first we got to figure out exactly where the exact middle is so basically get the same distance around the outer edge of this thing all the way around mark it out and then drill it that's what we're doing today. Well, that actually wasn't hard at all. Put it up there, kind of lined up by eyeball, and then measured it, and it's exactly one foot all the way around on these from here to the outer edge of this metal. So now we're just going to take and drill this right there, down through there, put a bolt there, and just basically bolt that sucker down to that one. So let's get on with it. Okay, so when you drill these, unless you got an extra long bit, longer than normal, I'm using a quarter inch bit, so obviously a little bigger bit would be longer. Anyway, this bit barely makes it through the wood, through all these and through the wood, Put it all the way out as far as I can get it. So I made it, I only put one bolt in it for now so I can move it, so I could actually move it like that and then drill down through the plywood. And then I'll move them all back and put our bolts in. So, might want to take note of that one. As you can see, first coat on the left, or second coat on the left, first coat on the right. So that second coat really does add some depthness to it. I'm just putting it on now, so when it dries, it'll still be quite a bit darker than that other side. Alrighty, so with the advice of a few people, I doubled up the buckets on my on my wheel. I took a two by eight, pressure treated two by eight. <laughs> take a look at this size. See, that's right on the seven. It's not even seven and a half anymore. <clears throat> Just be seven and a half inch. Now it's a uh, seven inch. <clears throat> kind of surprised me. So anyway, put the old table saw out of 45, rip that down, and then I <clears throat> cut the two by eight to lengths to match the two by 12 that's there, and I put it vertically just to double up the, the, the buckets there. And uh, now we're going to silicone them in and do what we got to do. Okay, we now have the second set of baffles or buckets set on each each row. So now we have 16 sitting in there. We screwed them in on the back sides. First, I cut them all. Then I put some silicone down on where they're going to sit along the along this one and along the floor. I took three deck mates and screwed in from the back on all of these. So our circle, as you can see, I think is ready to go. Um, I think the next thing is to put this other side, I think is where we are. Let's put that on top, screw it all together. Measure out that square in the middle so I know exactly where I'm hitting that. I think that's my next step. Okay, we're ready to actually put that second piece, the outside of it, on there. Got it all silicone so I can just put it on there and line it up. If we would just line it up with the outside of these, that'd be, I mean, those are all pretty much right on the, I mean, they're off a tiny bit, I guess. But, I mean, they're pretty much on the edge of that metal, and these two reels are identical. So I should be able to just line it up on the outskirts of these, line it up the same as it is on the bottom, I'm guessing. All right, well, wait for Justin to come out and give me a hand lifting that other top piece on there and screw it in. All right, guys, so the wheel is assembled, um, seven and a half feet tall. We've got two by 12s on the middle, 
two by eight, ripped at a 45 in the smaller ones. Uh, so we have 16 paddles in there, or buckets, or whatever you want to call them. So the only thing we haven't done so far on the assembly of this is we're waiting to weld the eight inch piece of metal that goes on here, that then I will drill through for the spindle to go through, then weld the spindle to the to the, to the uh, piece of metal. Um, I can't put that outer, outer piece of plywood on that goes around the five and a half footer, which is what the the belt will ride on. So I can't put that on until I get that done. So after that, after I get those installed, those pieces of metal and drill for the, for the spindle, then I can put that plywood on and then we can haul it down to the creek and mount it down on that system, uh, the, the headers and all that stuff down there that we're gonna put at the creek. Anyway guys, until the next one, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel.